Yes, boys, welcome back to Reg, the Saxo VTR. And yeah, I've asboed him up. Sounding a lot louder. Looks like a cherry bomb, boys. So yeah, it sounded a lot different. It's a lot louder than I thought. Obviously, if you saw the uh, previous video, it was blowing its arse off. The, the exhaust on it was an absolute state. So getting a little straight pipe was always the uh, intention. But this beer, it was only, uh, it wasn't it wasn't very much, but it's, it's a Hoffman system. And it's like a bloody cherry, cherry bomb. So yeah, she's as bowed up. She's a lot louder than I thought. But hey oh, hey oh, won't be doing anything there. Loud boys, loud. We'll go for a quick drive so you can hear how loud it is inside. It's like, uh, yeah, I need some, <coughs> I need some ear defenders. Right, let's try and put this camera on. Hold on, boys. Ugh. Ugh. And I'll go for a little drive here. Eh? We'll go for a little drive. Are we straight? I think we're straight. Back in the sacks, back with Reg the sacks. Loud as. Here we go. What have I done? I've as bowed Reg up. Yeah, loud as. Obviously, it was blowing its arse off before. Since I bought the car, it was blowing its arse off. This is the only time it hasn't been blowing, so the performance is a little better. But she's loud as. Indeed. All right, so let's go for a little mist, just so you can, uh, you can hear the exhaust, you know what I mean? Happy days. Get the window open, eh? There's no, uh, there's no driving it quiet either. I think that's probably as quiet as we can get it. Yes, mate. Hopefully the camera isn't bouncing everywhere. Nice. So he's had his new exhaust. He's had the all the forever black around the bumper trims what else are we going to do oh yeah we've done the forever black the wing mirrors we need to we've changed the plates next up is get a K&N in the actual air box I'm not going to change the air box for an induction kit or nothing because the cold air feeding effort's already perfect I'm just going to put a different filter in the standard filter so I'm going to remove the standard filter leave all the air box there but put an actual K&N filter in there I want to get rid of the spare wheel and everything as well there's no point having that on a <laughs> lightweight Yes, mate. Get it on the track next year. She does pop and bang as well. Loud. Loud. And Ronnie, Ronnie 5, yeah, the spark plugs keep going black as within a matter of no time because obviously the mixture, the fuel to air mixture or whatever is buggered. So I'm getting him booked in at high tech to go and get the carburetor all cleaned and rejetted etc or looked at it's just running too rich it's killing my spark plugs so expect more content on Ronnie soon but for now we're in reg with his new exhaust chilling shout out to Zach and Harry the guys that put it on known him years good lads not too sure where I am Listen to that drone, it's so bloody loud. Everyone says, why do you get a VTS? Because I want an instant power. I've had VTSs, but 16 valve, you have to put your foot down and wait till you're in the valves. And I just wanted instant power, man. I wasn't arsed. I wasn't arsed about VTS. I'd have got a VTS for some S if I was bothered. straight so we can get some uh, fall down action you can hear it properly poppity pop pop and debating taking the back seats out as well boys you know, you know me my old VTR was strict I don't think I even had door cards right where's the 
Alright, should we go? <laughs> That's boat. Wobbly! So it's a lot louder, but it's nice not to be blowing, man. It's actually feel the compression coming out the back instead of the side. Fuck off. Dickhead. Thinks he's a copper. Man, what am I going? Fucking 30. Do one, mate. What's it say on that sign there? 30. Dickhead. One of your dads, sorry mate, but you should be telling people to slow down, you know what I mean? Chilling here. Thank you, lady. Thank you, lady. Right, which way should we go? Go this way, eh? Go this way. So loud, man. to a main road.
try and get a boot down here with the outside cap. 